Question one: Which of the following actions by the nursing assistant can help meet a resident's social needs? A. Served his meal tray promptly while the food is hot. B. Keep his room clean and neat with personal items put away. C. Keep his signed rails up and postural supports as necessary. D. Praise him for his accomplishments and for trying new things. Answer D. Praise him for his accomplishments and for trying new things. Explanation: Social rewards such as praise and attention are meaningful to everyone. When using praise to reinforce positive behavior and accomplishments, be specific and sincere. Tell the client what you liked. I'm glad you went to the word working class this morning. Thank you for trying the sushi at lunch today. Use praise for behaviors and skills the client is able to change. Question two: A nurse aide who is active in her church is assigned to care for a client who is not a member of any religious group. The nurse aide should. A. Arrange to have the nurse aide's clergyman visit the client. B. Explain how religion has been helpful during the nurse aide's difficult times. C. Tell the client that it is important to have some type of spiritual belief. D. Respect the client's beliefs and do not try to change them. Answer D. Respect the client's beliefs and do not try to change them. Explanation: Respecting a client's spiritual beliefs can be a challenge if they are not understood or if they are different from the nurse aides. Compassionate care means having an open mind and not promoting any religion or spiritual practice. A client may be deeply spiritual but not be part of a formal religion. Ask if the client has any spiritual needs, then comply with their wishes. Question three: The nurse aide is caring for a client who is agitated. The nurse aide should a speak loudly so the client can hear the instructions. B ask another aide to take care of the client. C talk in a slow, calm, reassuring manner. D try to convince the client to be quiet. Answer C. Talk in a slow, calm, reassuring manner. Explanation: Agitation can have several causes, including sudden changes in location and caregiver, noise, perceived fears or threats or fatigue. Stay with the client and other reassurances, such as "You are safe here" or "I'll stay with you." Eliminate distractions and check for physical needs: hunger, thirst, need to use the toilet, fatigue or pain. The client's favorite music can be soothing, as well as exercise or a new activity. Question four: A confused and disoriented client is begging to go home. The nurse aide's best response to this client is: A. Tell the client this is your home. B. Tell the client we will take you home later. C. Take the client to the activity room. D. Ask the client to talk about their home. Answer D. Ask the client to talk about their home. Explanation: Clients with dementia may have times when they remember places or events. Rather than discourage or destroy their memories, validate them by asking them to tell you what they recall. Don't worry if it doesn't make sense to you. Support with comments like "That sounds lovely" or "I can understand why you missed your home." Often, the client is not really asking to go home, but to have their memories and life recognized. Question five: All behavior has meaning to the a person observing the behavior, b person who is talking. C. Facility psychologist. D. Person doing the behavior.
Answer D. Person doing the behavior. Explanation: When a client's behavior seems puzzling or challenging, try to understand what they are trying to achieve. Are they afraid, hungry, cold, ill? Clients with dementia or other brain conditions may only be aware that they are uncomfortable. Ask the family if the behavior makes sense or if there are any triggers for the behavior. As you become familiar with the client, you will learn how to interpret the behavior and assist the client. Question six: The normal aging process is best defined as the time when a Alzheimer's disease begins. B. People are over sixty-five years of age. C. People become dependent and childlike. D. Normal body functions and senses decline. Answer D. Normal body functions and senses decline. Explanation: The human body begins to change gradually after about thirty years. Each person ages at a different rate, depending on your medical history, lifestyle, and genetics. Over time, vision and hearing decline, and organ systems become less efficient. Muscle tissue is lost, resulting in less strength and flexibility. Remaining active, eating well, and keeping social ties can slow the aging process. Seven nurse aides can provide a client with a sense of security by a leaving the room without speaking, b talking to another nurse aide while providing care. C. Turning on the television while giving care. D. Explaining all routines and procedures. Answer D. Explaining all routines and procedures. Explanation: An important standard of client care is to always explain what you are going to do before proceeding. Ask the client if they have any questions. Rushing a client or doing something without warning creates anxiety. If the client refuses, they may be fearful. Don't argue or use force. Tell them you will return again in a few minutes. Eight. A patient who has been depressed and complaining of feeling hopeless suddenly appears happier one morning and says that everything is okay now. What should the nurse aide do? A. Notify the nurse and other staff members of the sudden change. B. Call the family with the good news. C. Congratulate the patient on getting better. D. Tell the nurse that the patient is fine. Answer A. Notify the nurse and other staff members of the sudden change. Explanation: One of the warning signs that someone has been planning to commit suicide is a sudden or unexpected change in mood from being sad to being happy or calm. It can indicate that the person has decided to end their life. Another similar sign is giving away favorite possessions and putting affairs in order. Never assume they haven't given up their suicidal thinking. Let others know so everyone can monitor the client. Chennai, a good listening approach to use when communicating with residents is to: a. Always offer some advice. B. Sit beside the resident. C. Stand about six feet away from this resident. D. Avoid direct eye contact. To be sit beside the resident. Explanation: For the best communication, place yourself at the resident's eye level. This helps the resident feel reassured and engaged in the interaction. Studies show that when staff sits next to the clients, the clients perceive a higher quality of care. They also feel more connected to the staff. Question ten: A resident who is disoriented, a, properly will become violent. 
B likely has developmental delays. C is confused as to time and place. D is over seventy years old. Answer C is confused as to time and place. Explanation: When a client seems disoriented, start by offering basic information. Hello, Mr. Roberts. I'm Sally, your nurse aide. Do you remember me? From there, offer other ways to help him regain his sense of time and place. It's Tuesday, August twenty-six. You had chicken for lunch and watched the movie. Returning the client to his room to look at familiar objects and photos that can also be helpful. Always remain calm and friendly. Question eleven. Mrs. Brandon is a resident at your LTC facility. She is diagnosed with depression. The best way for you to help Mrs. Brandon is to a avoid spending much time with her because it doesn't seem to help her. B remind her of all the things she should be thankful for. C spend time with her just listening or sitting quietly. D. Listen to her troubles and concerns, being very sympathetic and agreeable with her perceptions. Answer C. Spend time with her, just listening or sitting quietly. Explanation: Depression is not a normal part of aging. It occurs more in females, but also in people who are single or lack of social network. Elderly people can struggle with loss because they don't feel hopeful about the future. Medications can be useful, but support by the staff can help Mrs. Brandon feel less isolated. Question twelve: A client with Alzheimer's disease wanders from room to room, moving the belongings of other clients to different locations. Alert and oriented clients are angry that their things have been moved. The nurse aide should a return the client to the client's room and close the door. B. Assure the other clients that the client with Alzheimer's disease will not harm them. C. Work with the client to keep from wandering. D. Find the missing articles and return them. Answer D. Find the missing articles and return them. Explanation: It is not unusual for clients with Alzheimer's or dementia to take objects and misplace or hide them. The clients are not stealing, but can be attracted by the look or feel of an object. It may also remind them of a similar object they may have owned, or they may collect things like pencils or coins. Do not scold or become angry. Return the item. Items to their owners. Make a box of the client's favorite objects and talk about the meaning. Question thirteen: Mrs. Lee is an alert, demanding resident who uses the call signal often. If you don't answer it immediately, she yells, "Help! Help!" When you answer the call signal, her requests are never urgent. She speaks sharply to you when you are in the room. Mrs. Lee is demonstrating a that she doesn't like you, b psychotic behavior, c anxiety or fear, d being spoiled or pampered. Answer C: anxiety or fear. Explanation: When a client is overusing their call light and making frequent demands, try to understand the reason behind the behavior. Anxiety is a common use. Make frequent rounds so the client feels reassured and doesn't have to rely on the call light. It is important to note that abuse and neglect charges can be filed if a client does not receive necessary physical or mental care. This includes failure to respond a call light. Question fourteen: A resident with dementia needs a to be isolated from others, b freedom with rules and regulations, c a structured environment.
D. Increased activity to stay alert. So C. A structured environment. Explanation. Daily routines can keep clients with dementia calm and focused. These clients require as much familiarity as possible in their environment. Try to include their favorite activities. Did they like to wake up early? Did they watch the evening news? Did they enjoy playing cards? Keep the daily schedule consistent. Meal times, grooming, naps, toileting and medications are small ways to help the client stay anchored. Question 15. Your best response to Mrs. Lee, who is showing signs of anxiety by repeatedly using the call signal and then is sharp with you when you respond, is to A. Give Mrs. Lee some choices and control over her care. B. Tell the nurse that Mrs. Lee doesn't like you and requests to be reassigned. C. Take Mrs. Lee's call signal away or unplug it. D. Tell Mrs. Lee that you have sick people to take care of. Question 16. Give Mrs. Lee some choices and control over her care. Explanation. Anxiety can cause a client to seem demanding and rude. Don't get angry or impatient and pay attention to your body language. Do not ignore an anxious client but work directly with them. Offering choices can help Mrs. Lee feel less dependent. Ask her opinion about her schedule. You can even address her behavior. Mrs. Lee, you seem anxious. What can we do to make you feel better? 16. If an alert and oriented client touches a nurse aide inappropriately, the nurse aide's best response is to A. Step back and ask the client not to do it again. B. Slap the client's hand. C. Warn the client that the behavior may be punished. D. Refuse to care for the client. Answer A. Step back and ask the client not to do it again. Explanation. Intimacy is a lifelong need for humans, and clients can be sexually active into their 80s and 90s. However, inappropriate sexual behavior is never acceptable. It can include suggestive commands, deliberate touching or exposure or genitals. Do not ignore the behavior. The nurse aide should immediately step back and give the patient immediate and firm feedback about the inappropriate. Say, if you do this again, I will not be able to continue to care for you. Question 17. If a nurse aide finds a client who is sad and crying, the nurse aide should A. Call the client's family to come. B. Tell the client to stop crying. C. Ask the client if something is wrong. D. Tell the client to cheer up. Answer C. Ask the client if something is wrong. Explanation. No matter a client's age or mental status, sadness can occur. While crying can make some people uncomfortable, the nurse aide is in the best position to ask the client about their feelings and to offer comfort. Do not leave the client alone. Do not try to distract the client. Simply sit with the client and ask gentle questions. Listen and do not offer solutions. During sadness, people seek comfort and a kind presence. They may not be asking for a solution, but simply someone to listen. If you can help, do so. Question 18. Mrs. Patton's husband died several months ago. She continues to talk about him and expects him to come visit daily. She is experiencing A. Displacement, B. Acceptance, C. Schizophrenia, D. Denial.
answer D. Denial. Explanation. Denial is the first and natural response to loss. It deserves as a temporary defense mechanism that prevents being overwhelmed by what has happened. During the denial phase, people may ignore facts because they are too painful to face. Do not confront Mrs. Patton or try to convince her that her husband has died. Ask her what he was like and what her favorite memories are. Encourage her to do her favorite activities. Question 19. Mrs. Melvin is a demanding patient who is difficult to please. Which of the following would be appropriate for you to do when caring for Mrs. Melvin? A. Avoid Mrs. Melvin's room once you have finished her care so she won't keep asking for things. B. Before leaving the room, ask Mrs. Melvin if you have done everything she needs. C. Require Mrs. Melvin to breathe and dress when you are available, not when she wishes to. D. Tell Mrs. Melvin you have another resident to need your help more than she does. Answer B. Before leaving the room, ask Mrs. Melvin if you have done everything she needs. Explanation. If a client is demanding, show them that you care by asking what they need or what will make them feel better. Their behavior is not directed at you, but can be a sign of anxiety, loneliness, and fear. Take time to learn more about the client. This may help you understand what is behind the behavior. Stay positive and focus on giving excellent care. 20. When caring for a client from another country, the nurse aide should a. Decline to care for the client. B. Be sensitive to the client's cultural needs. C. Promote group activity participation. D. Orient the client to the cultural practices of the facility. Answer B. Be sensitive to the client's cultural needs. Explanation. Providing excellent care means treating each person as a unique individual. This includes respecting the client's beliefs, values, and religious practices. All healthcare professionals should learn about the ethnic groups in their service area. As a direct care provider, the CNA may be the first person that a client meets. Understanding how to communicate will increase the likelihood of successful treatment and outcomes. Question 21. If a resident refuses to eat a certain food because of a religious preference, the CNA should a. Make a meal from other clients' food trays. B. Tell the resident that all meals are the same. C. Ask the family to bring in special foods. D. Notify the dietitian of the dietary restriction. Answer D. Notify the dietitian of the dietary restriction. Explanation. Cultural diversity includes diets for religious reasons. There may be foods that are not allowed, strict rules for preparation, or fasting on certain days. Diets may be important in the healing process for these clients. Not getting what they need can feel like a sin or violation of their faith. Healthcare professionals must make sure the client's dietary needs are met and their religious beliefs are supported. Question 22. A patient who is on suicide, what should be allowed to have? A. Their favorite leather belt. B. A glass container of flowers in her room. C. A mirror at the bedside table. D. Pictures of their family and an album. Answer D. Pictures of their family in an album. Explanation. Suicide watch is an ongoing monitoring process meant to prevent the client from hurting or killing themselves. The client is placed in a special room with nothing on the walls or ceiling. There may only be a mattress on the floor. 
any object that could be used to commit suicide are removed. This includes glass, razors, bounds, showlaces, and bed sheets. The room may have a video monitor. The client is checked at least every fifteen minutes by a qualifying staff member. Question twenty three. You can assist clients with their spiritual needs by. A. Encouraging them to talk about their beliefs. B. Avoiding any religious discussions. C. Telling them to focus on their physical health. D. Talking about your own spiritual beliefs. Answer A. Encouraging them to talk about their beliefs. Explanation: Spiritual beliefs are part of the whole person and can affect how clients approach their medical care. While discussing religion is not part of most conversations, it is important to find out the client's preferences. Ask: How do you handle stressful times, or is there anything we can do to help you practice your beliefs? Many clients are relieved to be able to discuss their needs and how their faith matters during illness and difficult times. Question twenty four: Which of the following statements might strongly support that a client is considering suicide? A: It would be better if I were dead. B. I don't really care what you think. C. We all have to go sometime. D. I think I need to see a psychiatrist. Answer A. It would be better if I were dead. Explanation: If someone is thinking about suicide, some of the warning signs are talking about death, losing interest in favorite things, expressing a sense of feeling hopeless or worthless, putting affairs in order, or calling others to say goodbye. Another sign is when someone has been very depressed and suddenly becomes happy and calm. If someone says, "I would be better off dead," immediately get help for them. Question twenty-five: If a client is confused, the nurse aide should a help the client to recognize familiar things and people. B. Ignore the client until he starts to make sense. C. Restrain the client to prevent self harm. D. Keep the client away from other clients. A. Help the client to recognize familiar things and people. Explanation: When a client becomes confused, try to figure out the cause. It can often be a change of routine, caregiver, or a sudden memory. Start with basic reasons for the confusion. Has the schedule been changed? Is there any change in staff? Are they wearing their glasses or hearing aids? Perhaps the client saw an object or someone that reminded them of the past. A good technique is to spend time with the client, reviewing familiar things and people. Look at objects and photos to reassure them and help them calm down. Question twenty six: The nurse aide is caring for a client whose religious beliefs do not allow the client to eat certain foods. The nurse aide should report this information to the a client's family, b dietitian, c charge nurse, d other nurse aides. Answer C. Charge nurse. Explanation: Notify the nurse if you learn that a client requires a special diet. The diet should be specified on admission, but if not, the nurse can obtain an order and contact the dietitian. Reasons for special diets include religion, medical conditions, and food allergies. Question twenty seven: When you empathize with residents, you are a. Helping them to cheer up. B. Feeling pity for them. C. Letting them stay in bed. D. Putting yourself in their place. D. 
D. Putting yourself in their place. Explanation. Empathy is the ability to understand what another person is feeling or experiencing. Once you can imagine their situation, you know how to help them. Empathy also requires that what we look at others without labels or bias. Active listening is an important skill for being empathetic. It helps us hear the emotions behind the words. Question 28. Which of the following stages of dying is usually the final stage? A. Depression. B. Acceptance. C. Bargaining. D. Anger. B. Acceptance. Explanation. The five stages of grief and dying are a model that explain the emotional response to death. Both the client and the client's loved ones can experience this emotion. The stages are denial, anger, beginning, depression, and acceptance. The stages are not linear. Most people move back and forth. Acceptance is the final stage when the client reflects on their life and understands that it is ending. 29. A resident's daughter expresses concern because her father, who has Parkinson's disease, appears dark at times and stands still, unable to walk. The nurse aide should tell the daughter that a. This is a common sign of Parkinson's disease. b. When he is confused, he doesn't move. c. He might not feel like walking. d. Her father has likely had a stroke. Answer A. This is a common sign of Parkinson's disease. Explanation. When a client or family member expresses concern about the client's condition, education can be useful. Provide basic information. If you aren't certain about the client's illness, ask the nurse to speak with them. Encourage them to take resources from reliable organizations. The Parkinson's Disease Foundation website has educational materials, online seminars, and a national helpline. Most diseases and chronic conditions have similar websites and resources. Question 30. The client looks for word to playing bingo each morning. The best action for the nurse aide is to A. Tell the client that the nurse aide may not have time to get the client ready for bingo. B. Encourage the client to bathe and dress self in order to be ready. C. Plan the client's schedule so client is bathed and dressed in time for bingo. D. Tell the client the nurse aide forgot about bingo but they will go the next day. Answer C. Plan the client's schedule so the client is bathed and dressed in time for bingo. Explanation. Helping a client maintain interest is important to their self-esteem. When a client can make decisions about their activities, they have a sense of independence and social connection. This can prevent depression and withdrawal. Arrange the client's schedule to accommodate their interests. Thank you for watching.